is up, everyone. PTX Volume 2 is done. <gasps> and here is an inside look at what you can expect. First track on the album is Can't Pull This by Macklemore and Ryan Lewis. I'll never forget the day that we uh, first decided we were going to do it. Scott came to rehearsal and said, hey, I have this track that I think is absolutely amazing. I heard it on the radio and I think we should do it on the album. And so we listened to it and I think we were just all pretty yeah. excited about it. It's the perfect song for us because we could feature everyone. It shows everything we can do. It has <laughs> rapping, it has singing, it has big anthematic parts, lots of belting, and, and it just has such a cool message too. It's the first one we chose. It's a great album opener too because it has yeah. so much energy. It just like packs a punch right from the get-go. And I feel like it, it really, really applies to us because I don't know, we're an acapella group and that alone but this is the underdog, you know, yeah. we're trying to compete with everybody else. I really liked our video too, because while it was a challenge trying to find everyone's individual styles, yeah. it was really cool how at the end, like, we're all so different, but we came together and like, yeah. can't hold us, you know, I it was yeah, really, really absolutely. fun. The next song on the album is actually an original called Natural Disaster. To a natural disaster. It's about basically this, this person in your life who is messing up your life. They're practically your, your natural disaster. We just started discussing it, like, we need to have stomps, and we need to have it raw, we need yeah. to make it um, intense, and it really came together. It was an interesting process too because we didn't have um, a studio readily available. Kevin went into GarageBand, and um, we basically just built the track ourselves and yeah. just recorded. We've never done that before with an original, it was a new experience. Yeah, I feel like this is one of the first tracks that we've done where it's kind of like how you know Bobby McFerrin, Don't Worry Be Happy. You don't want to hear anything else, you just want to hear him sing the song and his whistles, and this track kind of has that same feel where you just want to hear the track. The next song on our album is another original called Love Again. And this is a more dancey track, which can be tricky since we're a vocal group. Yeah. But I mean, a lot of dance music is very minimal now. Like there's minimalistic drops. The minimal drops I think are, it's something that's very popular in um, like EDM. We were really inspired by the very ethereal, poppy dance music that's kind of popular today. I think it would be really cool if this song was like played by DJs. And we wanted to have um, Mitch on the solo because he listens to so much EDM music yes. and he knows how uh, his voice is just so perfect for those type of solos like this. <laughs> and he sounds <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> on Listening to the, this progressive dance music has been really interesting for us because we're trying to do things that we've, we've never done before. Mm -hmm. We're trying to be progressive in the acapella world but we're also trying to be progressive in just the music world in general. Yeah. Another cover on the album um, is Valentine. Cause I know about my love. The original song is so beautiful. Um, I remember being captivated by it immediately just because of the beautiful melodies and the sort of um, sterile production. I thought it was just so unique and so interesting. So I brought it to the group and everybody seemed to like it initially. Yeah, it's a beautiful <laughs> yeah we and, loved uh, it. What we did with it I think is very interesting um, because I don't think an acapella group would have approached it the way we did. Yeah, it's really cool. We all have different vocal lines, and and each each vocal line has a sentence that applies to the journey of the song. And um, the way that we sing them, it's like bell tones, and it's really cool if you listen to each sentence. You know, it's gonna be kind of hard to piece them together, but once you do, I think it'd be a really cool way to reimagine the song and, and just see how like what it means to us. The next song on our album is another original called Hey Mama. It's kind of an original, but it's kind of a cover too. We thought it'd be fun to take an original song and then sample a cover. Kevin had these really amazing verses for a long time, and we were like, this is so perfect, it needs the perfect chorus. And then, as a group, we've been wanting to arrange Hit the Road Jack for a while, yeah. because we love that song. We had this epiphany, why don't we take the verses that Kevin wrote, and then add Hit the Road Jack, and make this really cool, like, retro song. And we did it, and it is seriously my favorite song on the album. It feels so good, it's so yes. happy. It's such a throwback, and it just grooves really well, and so recording it, was so fun. Yeah. Like, I never had a problem. I was always like, yes, I want to record Hey Mama. <laughs> <laughs> the next song on the album is I Need Your Love. I really love this song. I think it's so great and it was so perfect for us. And everyone's going to die because in the beginning, Mitch sounds so perfect. Yeah, when we got the mix back, I was like, that's everything. What I love about this song is it's very reminiscent of our sing-off days. It's yeah. like, 
Avi oh. came to us and he was totally inspired. He listens to a lot of dance hall music and he was like, I want to take this song, but I want to go like dance hall with it. And so we just changed up the song completely and yeah. it just reminds me of when we drastically changed things on the sing off. Yeah. And it was really, really fun to arrange it. We arranged it super fast. Yeah, it really brought us back. It was really, really cool. Yeah, yeah. So the next song on the album is an original and it's called Run to You. This song is my favorite song on the album. This song is about longing. And I think if there's one thing that every single person in the entire world feels is longing for something. We've never ever done a ballad. Yeah. And so- Especially not one like this. Yeah, exactly. We wanted to write a song that we can just sing and just really just emote. Um, we were all in choir. And so this brings us back to those days. I really hope that people can relate to it. When we were- um, presented with this song as a group, we initially like knew it was really special. It applied to us in so many different ways, and I think it's going to have a really special place in our hearts and hopefully yours. Why I like this one is that the recording process was completely different. Usually, you know, we each go in one at a time to record a song, but this time we went to a studio and set up five mics and just sang the song. It's cool to show another side of us, and this is the first time I'm really singing on a track. The entire oh track. God. And you killed it. He killed it. He sings the whole time. I was like, what I'm gonna sing? Cause I'm, I'm, what I do is beatbox. We all love choral music. We all love choirs. Mm -hmm. And um, I really want to hear choirs sing this. Yeah. yeah. Be I really, 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 really want to hear some amazing choir sing this. Oh, if, if I heard a choir do this, and I would, I would probably cry. If you want to see me cry, then care about the song. <laughs> or watch our Dog Days performance on YouTube. <laughs> So the finale of our album is this epic, huge medley mashup of Daft Punk songs. Like the legend of the phoenix, yeah. Mitch and I have loved Daft Punk for a really long time, and we used to sing Daft Punk songs when we were like 15 years old, and they've just been around forever and their music is amazing. This medley is full of Daft Punk's most notable songs, and um, it's really awesome just to be able to get to kind of take these really iconic songs and you know, change them and give them a new direction. Right when it starts, I'm like, this is the end of the album. This is the end of all of our hard work. This is just like my favorite song on the album. I love the arrangement, I love all the songs in it. It was so fun to sing. I can't wait to perform it. This track is just so epic. Yeah. It's yeah. Yeah. definitely our hardest arrangement we've ever done. It has like six or seven songs in it. There's so many like harmonized vocal runs and breakdowns and it's just like a lot to take in. There's so much ear candy everywhere and I think you just, you really have to be um, attentive when you're listening to it. I think y'all are gonna like this track a lot. It's a good finale for our album. Yeah. This album has been such a journey, such a process, yeah. but seriously, it's all worth it. Every part of it, the struggles, everything about it, we're all so excited for it. We really yeah. hope you love it as yeah. much as we do. We're so stoked. Yeah. Yeah. And we didn't want to release it until it was perfect. Yeah. And now we really so do feel like it's waiting. perfect. So thank you guys so much, and we will see you later. Bye! Bye.